Today we're going to play playing with the mobs. Yes. If it's going to open for me. I don't know why. Every time I open this game. Oh my god. Every time I open this game, it's some some reason it like fucks up the proportions of my monitors because my monitors aren't the same size. I think one's a 20... One's 20 and one's 24. And just fucks it up. Makes me sad. Okay, it is now loaded. Let us go. Yes. There you go. We got the spoopy lights. Yes. I love the spoopy lights. Oh fuck. I forgot the game thing. It's not under two. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the music. Okay, is it gonna lo load for me? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I. I just for a second, I thought I needed to change keyboards because I had to change keyboards for Undertale because my down my down key and my right key don't work. <laughs> my God, but you don't need that for this game, thank God. But yeah, let's go. Episode three, a Crooked Mile. I should play that though. I want to. I want to play a Crooked Mile. Imposter. <laughs> Ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so. Oh fuck! Ah! Confused. I I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. Damn. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and. I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's. Her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and oh, pie. Oh, there's so... My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. That's a good review. Oh, yeah. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Ooh, that's unfortunate, bro. <laughs> Even the stained glass, ooh. Well, there's no nudity, but I didn't know they did that. It showed it in the flashback. I wouldn't expect that either. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Why is she Big concerned if she's drinking? Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... I know. 
No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Why oh, she looks disgusted at me? What did I do to her? Promising lead. she was truly close to. If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss it is worrying in that about spirit you. That I'd like to talk I'll miss about our fights. What you've all been I'll so miss grateful you. to share with me. Holly. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. You how she a carried big, a torch for the old ways, star for in this tradition. Shithole of a town. And I miss you already. And most of all, Ren. it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved. Now her you will never and die from indifference. She loved lead being a around tedious me. life. In good times Goodbye, and bad. sweetheart. I never Thanks met for Lily, everything. But from Vivian. what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to what? show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, this just isn't important right now. Oh, I need I to talk to, to Snow. You are unfucking believable. Big that's B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? <laughs> what? No, she has her. No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily, and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Oh. Look, she? Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? 
Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. See that Let's you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. No. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy, he gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mm -hmm. mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Hmm. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really <laughs> don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. <laughs> she didn't smile. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! Sam was just a little mermaid. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you so jerk-offs nice. are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning <laughs> yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we see leave you alone. Though? Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind, fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly Bro, as Bro, is he gonna kill someone? Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ollie? You 
think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. Oh you fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. I'm gonna kill you! Again. Oh no. <laughs> Kelly Captain, give her the sub. The Wolf Mogus. DA Wolf Mogus. Mogus. That's what I thought too. But I guess it does. I keep getting people moved. <laughs> I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Oh my god, okay, they I survived. I had everyone that got oh wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. <laughs> the Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Damn, Everything I gotta say it like that. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. Hi, chicken. All right then. Very good. <laughs> Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. <laughs> the town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B. Why is it called by my first name? They call call me like Mr. Wolf or something. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Oh, but, I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah, well, yeah. Good. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he, held me in his thoughts. Oh, wow. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? 
Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. That seems kind of concerning. Thanks for tonight. Probably helpful, by the though. way. <laughs> that could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. What? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? No, don't we get angry. No, I'm not I guess it angry. doesn't matter. I didn't mean to be uh, angry. Guys, I was just wondering. We have a problem. What is oh my it? God, he's I so can't fast. finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Dude, he fit that hella fast. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what? what? Buffkin, what? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. Yeah, we can't it, depend yeah. on the mirror. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. He oh. had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Yeah, boom down. I'm sorry, Bumpkin. <laughs> He's sad. I remember this. Just talk to Bump. Bump Bumpkin. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. That's gross. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. <laughs> you do that. No, so he does have the key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. Oh my god, that's gross. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I That's keep thinking thing. back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. No. Come on, let's keep looking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are there any updates to the extra funding I requested? As explained in my last night, the conditions here could be due with some improvements. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. 
Okay. Boy Boo Boo, I'm writing to ask you again that please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up, burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I, <laughs> I'm assuming it's something gross and I'd rather, I really like if you fix the air like we asked three months ago. At the very least, provide a fan in the meantime. That's Mr. Toad. You said you'd pay us for the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out the- rent that room out as it is. And I've already been waiting for days not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Who's Cole? <laughs> Cole Sprouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a big ass book. <laughs> There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. What? Wait, what witch? Bufkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from don't say it that must be about this ring why not mention this before no one asked me buffkin and i'm hung over i'm sorry i'm hung over he set the meeting at 2 a.m tonight 2 a.m what's going on is the mirror fixed yet bluebeard this isn't the time is the mirror fixed or isn't it you called I me called to... just to see if you knew where crane could be and that was it okay and i'm sorry i said anything Sus. more than that well you did and i know the cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Exactly. We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Why does he keep talking? A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Oh, I'm God. heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's okay. been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. That's not what Since I want. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking 
is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting oh for the mirror God. to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! Wait, I didn't He's is. after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Oh my god. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to relate.